Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Tuesday, April the 12th, 2016. Dow Jones Industrial Average has closed, closed substantially higher, although off of the lows, which is 17,744, it is closing up 164 points higher at 17,721. Standard & Poor's also tracking higher on the day, up 18, 19 points at 2053. Of course, we talked about the fact yesterday that we saw some real headwinds, some real resistance in the market. We're also seeing some support in the market and we've got the market truly either consolidating before a big move up or a congestion period. But we certainly aren't getting the sell-off that we might have gotten in previous past markets. So what I'm seeing is tremendous support in this market. Now we're seeing the support as crude oil has a phenomenal rise on the day. As you can see, currently trading almost at $42 per barrel at 41.96, up about 4% on the day an increase of about $1.60 per barrel. We'll take a look at crude oil along with the S&P and the US dollar all on today's daily report. No doubt a tremendous upside surge in US equities today, really in conjunction or sympathy, I should say, with crude oil, which traded effectively higher, breaking that $40 per barrel uh, ceiling, moving to almost $42 per barrel, tremendous move in the oil market. The one thing though, when we take a look at the Standard & Poor's, we certainly have some real support in the area of about call it uh, 2030. That's these recent series of lows that you have seen in the market. A low today, for example, is 2029. So we get real good support in this area. We also have some real resistance at about 2060, and that's easily identifiable by these series of tops here, as well as uh, today's high. And so we're very, very much a range bound market. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen the Standard & Poor's trade range bound. It tends to do that when it gets to these tops in the market here. You can see this range bound kind of sideways trading activity here. And when we had that, of course, that was just prior to a dramatic break to the downside. We also got it right before the Christmas meltdown in the market, or excuse me, the August meltdown in the market that, that came in last year. And so we've seen this, of course, August and September of last year. We've seen that the end of this year in which we had a sideways trading market. My sense is that we could be consolidating before moving to higher pricing, although we do not have any credible technical evidence of that fact, really, until and unless we break and close above 2060. So next, I do want to take a quick look at the dollar index. Dollar index is trading below 94, pretty critical level. We have this bottom that sits here at around 93.80. And it is my belief that that's a pretty critical level that we need to see the dollar hold. If it cannot hold that level, we get some bottoms that come in just above 93. That's this bottom right in here. And then we get some extreme lows just below that. But I really don't believe that those extreme lows are going to hold a lot of weight. That was an intraday move in the market. And I think it was an exaggerated move at that. And so traders, lastly, do want to take a look at crude oil. Crude oil up almost $2 a barrel, almost a 5% gain 4.51% currently trading at 42.19 as we see settlement. Weekly chart on the top is crude oil, on the bottom is equities vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Standard & Poor's 500. We talked about a decoupling over the last uh, few weeks. We're certainly getting a positive correlation again this week with equities trading higher and crude oil trading higher. And traders, lastly, do want to take a crude oil today take a look at it, excuse me. It has been a defined and most interesting market. We identified really what could best be described in terms of a pattern. We also saw this in US equities as this dump. 
And what is interesting about this type of pattern, and I've very, very rarely seen it, is rather than getting a single V bottom and then the market taking off from there, you got a double bottom. In other words, that's where that W comes in. You get a double bottom in the market and then have the market move higher. Now, in this particular case, we got some real resistance at about 42, and that was back the middle of March, market comes back down, makes a much higher low than the previous low, tremendously higher, up at just around $36 per barrel. And my sense right now is I had been under the belief that this market would find some substantial resistance and probably cap at around $40 per barrel. That is not the case right now as we surge through that point. And with that in mind, the next real area that we could look at is going to come in at around a 43.80. So we could see oil track as high as that. And that's simply based upon these highs that we got back in November of last year. We are flat in the market. I want to see whether or not equities can sustain the upside move and get out of this sideways congestion area it is tracking higher one two it is not trading lower or under pressure but three it's not moving above current resistance in the market this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow on wednesday for another trending markets bye-bye